God made one blood type, I mean, several variations of it, but we have the same blood. She's got the blood of two continents. She's got the blood of the diaspora and Jamaican lineage and heritage, raised in America with an Asian mother. And so she is America in so many ways. Uh, she understands the culture of many worlds. Uh, she's a loving and a caring and a giving spirit of a person, and she's the most qualified at this time to be at the top of the ticket. Uh, when we talk about what was different then versus now, we've had a female to become a Speaker of the House. We've had females become the Democratic uh, nominees. We've had females to be in the Vice Presidency. Females have done all the uh, highest roles in government except for the Presidency. And young girls will now look to the future and say, of course this can happen. I mean, uh, look, Obama was biracial, had a person, father from Kenya, mother was from here. It's no different. We've already had that. It's the difference is now it's Kamala, father was from Jamaica, and she has Indian as her mother. So this Again, country is changing in this acceptability of the biracialness. But it makes a difference for us to be able to feel that there is somebody in the White House. So I have two daughters. Now, of course, they may not run for president, but I have grandkids that they can see as many of the people will say, I can be the president now. Not just for us, all women and children that are out there. But keep in mind that also speaks to the rights of women. The right that a woman can do whatever she chooses to do. And that is crucial. You know, the whole country is energized and really there is a great momentum since uh, Kamala Harris, our vice president, uh, took as our nominee for the, the 47th President of the United States. It means a lot to South Asians. I am part of South Asians for Harris and also Sikhs for Harris. This really means to a lot, especially I have three daughters. You know, when I came to Chicago, one of my daughters said that if uh, Kamla Aunty Tay wins this, this will mean a lot for for. My daughters are 20 years old. They said that it can be any any one of us. So it really means a lot. Uh, the youth is energized. And uh, uh, Kamala Harris has, from start of her career, has been fighting for the people. During her uh, days as a district attorney in California, then as a senator of California, and now uh, being vice president, she has always fought for the people, she is always there to unite people. As she said, she always says, we are going to move the country forward, we are not going back. And in addition, she, be, she is a unifier. She will move the country forward by uniting all the communities. And on the